On September 7th of this year, Student Council hosted the homecoming dance at the Frisco Discovery Center. Even though the dance was at the earliest in the year that it has ever been, the attendance rate was high. Great. Well, I thought the game booths were a pretty nice innovation, how the students could go and play games instead of dancing if they were bored. And we had a lot of people come back and play games multiple times. The decorations this year were a lot cooler than last year. They were more put together and like elegant, and we had like really cool photo booths that um, Taylor and Divya painted. I liked um, seeing everyone have fun at the games and make sure that they were all having a good time and all that. I think the decorations were really good. I think that everyone really liked the theme this year, and the games were great, and everyone really liked the DJ, which was wonderful. We had a lot more people than we normally do, which was great. Everyone seemed to have a fabulous time, and it was just awesome to see everyone having such a great time and enjoying themselves at the dance. And don't forget, Pink Out the Park is October 18th at FC Dallas. We're playing Liberty, so come support. Whether you go to the homecoming game or the dance, homecoming week in general is a week that most students look forward to every year. For RACC TV, I'm Lexi Murphy. We all know and love our Frisco Stars. We had the chance to talk to some of the team members and director about this upcoming year. What's different about Stars this year? The Stars this year already have a closer bond with each other, which is really great to see. And I really hope that we maintain that throughout the year. They are really good at motivating each other in and out of practice, which creates a world of a difference. And you can really tell um, that, that they have that together this year because it shows on the field and, and in the you know, performance stage. What's the hardest part about being a star? Um, the hardest part about being a star is we have practice every day, so it can get kind of hard, but in the end, it's worth it. The hardest part is probably the fact that we don't have an off season. The hardest part about being a star is the time commitment um, because we do have to spend a lot of time practicing after school and I don't really have enough time to hang out with friends and stuff. Probably getting ready for competitions. Is dance as easy as you make it look? No, because there's a lot of stuff that goes into it and that's our job as a dancer to make things look easier than it actually is to the audience. Um, no, because it involves a lot of practice and hard work. Definitely not. Um, we spend a lot of time cleaning all of our dances and we do them over and over again. Um, and so I think a lot of people need to take into consideration how hard we work. Well, there you have it. Good luck this year, stars. With RACC TV, I'm Lauren Coppage. And remember, hashtag Beat Wakeland. With some of the new products being released by Apple and new Android products on the way, who's going to win the smartphone war? Seems like everyone has an opinion. Do you like Apple or Android better? I'm a bit of a Motorola person myself, in all honesty. Uh, sometimes Nokia on a, on a good day. iPhone. Why? Because the apps are better and it's made by Apple. Android. Why? Because everybody has an iPhone and Android generally has better phones. Well, I have to tell you, I was way, way high on Apple and Apple products. But as soon as I saw the Samsung Galaxy 4, it was Android all the way. Oh, uh, I actually have the iPhone, which actually, which we had that, which means I like that. iPhone. Why? It's because uh, it's faster and <laughs> you get more data. Android. Why? Because it's like free music and all that. Uh, I prefer the iPhone. Why? Um, I think it's more versatile and it personally fits me better. Apple, no doubt. Why? It's Apple. Well, when you think of an Android, you think cheap plastic. I'm uh, Metro PCS. Sorry, Android lovers, but for now, Apple is still in the lead. The question is, for how long? For RACC TV, I'm Tyler Beck. 
And remember, Frisco, blew out the park tonight. See you at the game. Be Wakeland. When was the last time you flared your nostrils? Can you pop your shoulder blades out of socket? Have you ever played your favorite song on a cup? If not, we found some students at Frisco High School who can do some of these things. We'll never be royals. It's a one in our blood. That kind of luck's just ain't for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. Let me be your ruler. I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. I want your hat. My fellow Americans, we thank you today for doing what you did when we came down to it when I got voted again and I'm in the White House. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am the president. God bless America and no place else. Thank you. We found some students with some very unique talents. Can you do that? No? <laughs> I my shoulder blades out. There are hundreds of hidden talents within the halls of Frisco High School. Don't be afraid to ask your friends if they have a secret talent. Maybe the person you sit next to in your English class is the next Justin Bieber. For RACC TV, I'm Madison Hildred. Forrest, man, what are you doing? We need you for the weather outside. I said I had to stop. I said I had to give other kids a chance. Everyone knows I'm better at the weather than they are, but... Ah, oh, partly cloudy. This is every day too. Weather. Man, you weather. are... Weather. You are just not looking good. Clear skies. No. <laughs> High of 82. Not like this. Come on, Ed. We're getting Love into the 78. Come on. Come on. We'll get you there. You're gonna be okay. Oh my 32. goodness, what's going I'll on? What happened? What's wrong? Oh, you don't look too good, kiddo. Oh, you feel a little bit warm, too. Rain what? on Sundays. What? Brisk breezes. I don't, I don't understand what you're saying, Forrest. What's wrong Wear a sweater. With what's 32? wrong with you? I'm going to need his ID number, hon. No. I know what he really needs. Wait, this has nothing to do with the weather. You're right, it doesn't. What time is it? Uh, 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 yeah, all the clocks are broken. Uh, just go. We gotta go, come on. Good morning, fellow raccoons. Welcome to the first weekend weather watch of the school year. After a long rehabilitation process, I'm finally back on the weather, and better than ever. Oh, it sure is hot out. I could use a milkshake. Oh, this will work. Shoo, shoo, shoo. All right. Friday will be mostly sunny with a high of 89 and a low of 70. Saturday will have scattered thunderstorms with a high of 82 and a low of 63, so don't forget to wear a raincoat. Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 82 and a low of 52, but don't let the clouds get you down. Next week looks promising. For RCC TV, 
I'm Forrest Jackson, and remember, nobody loves you. Like I do. We're all super excited for the pep rally this afternoon, but we're even more excited to defeat our rival Wakeland tonight. Our football team's rushing and passing stats are on point, and we want to make the most of it. The student section at FC Dallas Stadium needs to bring the high tonight and support the guys who have worked so hard with their 2-1 record. Hashtag beat Wakeland. Go Raccoons. See you tonight. Tonight is the classic rival game of Frisco versus Wakeland. This will be one, if not the biggest game of the year. We need the biggest student section possible that will be loud and standing the whole time. We are blowing out the crowd, so wear as much as possible. The game is at Toyota Stadium at 7 o'clock. The football team won't disappoint. Be loud, be proud, but stay classy. For RCC TV, I'm Jake Battaglia. I'm Nick Wolf. And I'm Austin Shaw. Be there.